Yo, yo, man, yo, you already know what it is. It's your boy Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Productions, the Dank Daddy from the Dank TV, who I got with me on the Dank TV today. Howdy, folks. Your man, Paul Gonzalez. I'm here with Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Productions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's correct. You know, so shoot, brother, what you got going on out here in these streets? Yeah, so um, right now we're sitting in the alley at the For the Culture headquarters down here on the First Street. Uh, met these boys last night, you know, we got to chopping it up and figured it'd be a good thing to just get to recording. So yeah, it's been pretty good. Okay, okay. So how long have you been doing what you've been doing right now? So For the Culture, F2C is For the Culture, and we've been doing that for almost two years now, right? So it started in January of 2019 with some uh, it's good underground shows that people liked it, and then Corona came, and yeah. then kind of had to switch that up a little bit, you know? can't have like 400 people packed into a small space so you know we had to rethink about what we're doing right and like the mission is essentially to show off vegas culture as much vegas culture as possible so we're like all right we can't do that physically anymore Mm -hmm. let's do it digitally so we started the website the blog start making videos and then we're like all right we need a headquarters right we need a place to do all the shooting have a place where everybody comes and that's where we're at now that's, that's kind of the whole story Okay. So what what like what used to be like the lineup? What's the lineup used to be like before like Corona came and everything for some of the artists that used to come through and do a show? Like how many what was the lineup like? Was it like 5 or 10 people? Yeah. So one of the things about for the culture is like we were trying to show off as much Vegas culture as possible, right? Mm. And then that gets kind of crazy considering Vegas has 3 million people in it. And yeah. there's, like, a lot of people doing stuff, right? And, yeah. you know, there's not necessarily, like, a barrier for entry for, for the culture. It's, like, if you're doing something and you're involved in the culture and you deserve, like, time on the stage, essentially, then, yeah, this is the place for you, right? Okay. So on the shows, you know, we're averaging maybe 10 to 12 acts, like, musicians per show. Mm. And I think the thickest show we ever did was May 10th. 2019 that was FTC3 and then that one was I think like 18 people right like so 18 musicians um, and then even deeper on that so for the culture it's like it's the entire Vegas culture it's not just rap music it's not just hip hop or R&B or EDM music or anything like that so one of the missions is always when we're setting up a lineup is to like show as much of the culture as possible so like there'll be bands there'll be solo musicians that play like maybe a guitar the piano something like that yeah. um there'll be people play like folk music and then a lot of rap of course because rap's huge out here and all that it's like rap hip-hop and then get an edm dj and then like more rap oriented dj have them take over the whole night but um yeah it'd be a complete showing complete showing so do you feel like it's easier out here to like push what y'all got going on is it has it been like a little struggle trying to get you know y'all message out and get you know what y'all trying to do for the people out there it's easy yeah it's, yeah because no, it's, it's like an entertainment you feel me like this is vegas so it's like it's so it's not necessarily like easy like oh we just do it and then everybody loves it, it like, you know snap your fingers and but it's like we do what's necessary and i think people really appreciate it you know because right. like vegas is very special there's a lot of really special people in the culture and the culture is like bubbling right now in my yeah. opinion it's like a powder keg you know like it's it's set to explode and like go crazy pretty soon here oh yeah and it's like you know who's gonna actually be serious about it who's gonna actually be the one documenting it who's gonna be the people that are like putting together good shows that like everybody can come to that aren't like getting shut down or dangerous or things like that and uh, that's the for the culture mission is to you know do vegas culture right you know do vegas culture right okay okay so after corona um lifts and everything like that what's your plans for um for the culture so we're definitely going to move back into shows, right? Like okay. shows where a lot of people come together and then they enjoy the culture and then they enjoy art and painting and music and art exhibits and vendors and the music, right? Mm-hmm. So before we're capping out at 500, right? And even at the very end of that, we were talking amongst ourselves, like, you know, what's the next, what's the next thing we want to hit? What's the next number going to be? And, uh, I'm more of the mindset of shoot super duper big. Yeah. And then no matter where you end up from like your original goal to the big goal, like it's a good place to be. Yeah. So, uh, you know, a solid thousand people. That's kind of the next thing I want to taste is a thousand people coming to a for the culture event for for the culture. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
definitely more regional acts. We're looking at Arizona. There's some awesome people in Arizona, such as like um, Lil Mozzie Jug. That's one of the big ones that we're looking at from over there. Over in LA, there's a bunch of stuff going on. So we're interested in bringing out people that are somewhat close to Vegas, to Vegas and giving them a sweet platform to show show themselves off to Vegas. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, like, how can people, like, sign up and get, like, a placement on, like, the lineup? Yeah, to, like, get on the lineup or to get on the blog or videos, anything like that. Um, it's on the website. So if you go to www.ftc.wtf, there's a little thing on there that says apply, and it's a Google form. You go through it, there's like 10 questions, and you basically say what you want to do. You put us, or you give us your social media handles, and then like some examples of your work, and yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get an email every time one of those comes in. Yeah. Okay, so we can look forward to any collaborations with For the Culture and any other um, brands out there? Yeah, For the Culture, um, but we're trying to collaborate with everybody, right? Mm-hmm. So some of the best ones that are going on right now is 702 and V. Uh, it's another sort of documentary video company out here, video yeah. media style thing. They're showing off Vegas culture. They shoot a lot of stuff here. Awesome group. Uh, on top of that, there is the real ones, the real one CC. It's a transplant from Orange County here in Vegas now. And uh, same thing, media company doing some really awesome work here in the city. Uh, deeper than that, some clothing companies that are pretty sweet. Moss Vegas Clothing doing skate comms monthly with them. You know, those are pretty awesome. A bunch of skaters coming out for that. Uh, just be clothing plug clothing not good clothing lots of awesome brands and lots of awesome people out here that uh you know we're working with and we're excited to keep working with okay so you from out here in um vegas no actually so i moved here four years ago Hmm. Um, i moved here from portland and i moved a bunch basically from like portland down like through nevada and through california just all around there but yeah i came from portland moved here four years ago started for the culture two years ago so what made you like start it out here in Vegas other than you know the fact yeah. that it's entertainment but what other things so I, that drive you to it I graduated high school right so like I was 18 and I was like you know what am I gonna do what's what's the next step and it was like June you know I literally just graduated and I was like you're right fuck it like I knew Marco you, you just did his uh the interview Marco 40 okay. so I knew him from when we were kids we met and somehow like just remained friends for a long time and I was like, all right, whatever, Vegas. Let's see what happens. Let's move to Vegas. And uh, I really loved it. You know, my sister's out here too. So I had that. And then the Marco reason, I was like, all right. And it just kind of went off. Yeah, it was a good thing. Okay, so in the future, can we expect, like, for the culture to expand in different areas in, like, you know, the world? Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, certainly, bro. Yeah. Got so, to, got to expand. Yeah, no, certainly. So it's starting here in Vegas. Um, we're for the culture of Las Vegas, you know, that's where it started and that's like right now where the energy is. But at a certain point, we will be just for the culture. And at a certain point, you know, a lot of people will know. And it's it's not so much of a scatter shot, it's a sort of cohesive plan. Like, you know, we talked about bringing some people from Arizona out here. Well, we're interested in seeing what the Arizona marketplace is like. So like, uh, you know, we had a great friend named the Slump Goddess who kind of introduced us to what's going on in Arizona. And if you go down into like the Phoenix area and you get into the rap shows that are going on, it's absolute insanity, right? Like they have a very active culture there as well. So uh, yeah, definitely picking out places that are on the come up and then doing the same thing we're doing here. Just move there. Okay, okay. So if the people are trying to like stay up to date and in tune with what For the Culture got going on, how the people can stay in tune with what y'all got going on? Yeah, so the best way for sure is Instagram. That's where we do a lot of our stuff. It's at for the culture LV uh, on Instagram. Or if you go to our website, we do the newsletter. Inside the newsletter, we um, throw out discounts, a bunch of like gear that never gets released onto the site, just kind of like exclusives, okay. that kind of stuff. If you want for the culture in your inbox, you know, I think we're almost at 500. So, you know, shout out to the people that have subscribed. But yeah, for the culture LV on Insta or the newsletter. All right, so we want to wrap it up. So what do you got to say to your supporters, everybody out there that's supporting you right now? I would have to say we're all going to make it, bros. Mm-hmm. Bet, bet. So you already know what it is. This is your boy Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Productions. Thank Daddy from the Dank TV. Who, got, who I got with me on the Dank TV again? Paul Gonzalez. All right, bet, bet. We out this bitch.